This is number three of four rigs. Two identically like uh, these, and then there was two more that we call portable rigs, but they both, all four will contain the exact same uh, signal path, uh, same complement of effects, and um, same preamps, uh, slightly different power amps. Uh, we, in the, what we call the portable rigs, consists of uh, a board just like this, identical to this, in fact. Um, then a separate effects board that includes all of the pedals on a board. All these exact same pedals on a board and, um, and then a small rack that contains power amps and um, this amount of stuff here, just the two preamps of the Fractal, the uh, Marshall JMP1 and the Rocktron Telefix. And uh, this thing is needed. Old piece, but sounds great. It's needed to reproduce sounds on their earlier records. Um, and same with the, uh, the Marshall JMP1s used on their earlier records too. So we need to include those in order to get those sounds. Um, subsequently over the years, he's gone to uh, fractals and use the fractal axe effects for a lot of sounds, but nowadays we're going back to a more um, um, analog approach to things, I guess you might say. Um, although the fractal is still included here and uh, can be selected as well as the preamp chain with the other effects into the Freya power amps. And um, there's various expression control here for uh, effects. Um, master volumes, ditto loopers are used. Um, these are sort of independent of the system, but they are used just to trigger um, what you might call samples that have been preloaded into them just to um, uh, facilitate different sounds. And they come out, they go direct into the house via a direct box. They're not actually part of the system per se, but they are included on the board for their intended purpose. Um, a uh, variety of different uh, analog pedals um, and some new ones here too. The, the uh, TCs are new to this system, run in stereo. These have been included in previous CA systems in the past that we've done, um, except for perhaps the Horizon, which is a new box. But these other ones are all part of Steph's sound and have been for uh, quite some time. And uh, in another drawer of some of the more common uh, MIDI controlled effects and such that are used uh, commonly today, the Strymon pedals which are beautiful and of course the Eventide H9 as well. Um, these guys are all run in stereo. This happens to be in the front end, the Eventide for various um, things. Um, and basically that's pretty much it. It's, it's essentially the Marshall preamp with these effects, actually these, all these pedal effects and such are common to the front ends uh, so that the, um, the conceivably the fractal could see that them as well but generally they're for the Marshall and, um, and then these effects as well go out and then this comes in sort of at the end of the line in parallel with them to be for, and it's added into the signal path in parallel with the rest of these. So it um, acts as a, a different tonal option um, that could be included at any time. And of course it has all tons of effects in it as well, so it doesn't really need to see these kind of things. It's just on its own. So anyway, dual Fryat power amps, some of the best in the biz. They work great. The other racks, the, the smaller portable racks, have the um, the new ones, the LX models, I forget what they're called, LX1, I think they're called. Single rack space, very nice, but uh, this guy, we're using the, the great um, 292s in this one, which are uh, been mainstays of uh, various rigs over the years. Good sound. Anyway, and the RST MIDI foot controller, the, ties it all together and allows you um, control of all of the various effects and amps and stuff in there and that's basically it.
pretty much. Boom! Awesome. Thanks.